Hi guys, Laserbolt here and welcome to another episode. Today we're going to be setting up some easy and simple voice recognition for air traffic control in Microsoft Flight Simulator. And it's free! Before I show you how to set this up, let's take a look at it in action and I'll show you how it works. Cancun traffic, Lima Winosco November requesting takeoff clearance from active runway 30 left, Foxtrot 3.3. Oscar November ready at runway tree zero left straight out departure. Laser Bolt Lima 1 Oscar November cleared for takeoff runway tree zero left departing straight out approved. Roger that, acknowledge takeoff clearance straight out departure approved for Foxtrot 1.1. Contact Havana Center for Lima 1 Oscar November, holding flight level 280, Foxtrot 1.1. Havana Center, Laser Bolt Lima 1 Oscar November, flight level 280. Laser Bolt Lima 1 Oscar November, Havana Center, continue as planned. As you can see, it works quite well, and you might be a little surprised at how easy it is. Did you notice that I end every ATC interaction with a number, like Delta 1.1 or Foxtrot 4.4? Roger that. Acknowledge landing clearance runway 09er, 1 Oscar November, Delta 1.1. Clear to land runway 9 laser bolt, Lima 1 This is a simple trick you can use to trigger the right response when you're communicating with air traffic control. So let's open up Voice Attack and I'll show you how to create a simple profile that only takes a couple minutes and it will allow you to control ATC interactions using only your voice. You can grab the demo version of Voice Attack off their website for free. It has all the same features as the full version, but it only allows you to create 20 commands, which is plenty for what we're doing. All right, let's start with a fresh profile and create our first command. We'll make this one 1.1 with an asterisk at the beginning. This will tell Voice Attack to listen for the command at the end of a sentence. Now go down and give it a key press and tell it to press key number one. And the last thing you want to do is an important step is go down to the recognition tab and put it on continuous speech. This basically tells voice attack that if it doesn't understand the words you're saying, just wait till the end of the sentence. Now hit OK and we can make the rest of the commands like 2.2, 3.3, all the way up to 0.0. .0. Now we'll be able to say anything and as long as we finish it with a 1.1 or a 7.7, .7, it'll hit the corresponding keystroke. And there you go, now we have a separate command for each number on the keyboard. Let's go ahead and give this a little test before we check it out. 1.1 3.3 1 Oscar November is inbound for runway 14 at an angle of 2.2. Perfect. And now when you're inside the sim, you can just open up the ATC menu from the hotbar. From here you can access all of your commands for ATC. I usually drag this window over to a second monitor or put it on my iPad using Space Desk, but I'm going to leave it on the main monitor for now so we can see what's going on. Tune Honolulu Approach at Alpha 1.1. So it automatically switch frequencies to the Honolulu Center. Neat! Honolulu Approach, Lima 1 Oscar November is with you, climbing to 15,000 for Foxtrot 1.1. Roger that. Acknowledge squat code 7423 for Lima 1 Oscar November 1.1. Squawk 7423 Laser Bolt Lima 1 Oscar November. So there you go. Just like that. Super easy. And now we've got some rudimentary voice commands on our ATC. So, Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative and helpful. And if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye now.